So if you are looking to use creatine to increase your muscles, this is how it will work. Yo, so I'm back with another episode for you guys and this episode I am Dr. Boom and today I'm going to be going over creatine. In this series I'm going to be breaking down a number of known supplements. So you know what they're actually doing and how they can benefit you. And today is going to be creatine, which is arguably the most researched and effective natural supplement on the market. If you don't know already, you can get creatine from meat and from fish, but many of you already know you can also supplement creatine. Why would you supplement creatine and how does it work? So, why do you supplement creatine? This is going to be my horrendous drawing of your muscle, all right? There we go, bicep. So, you get your nice creatine, you consume your creatine, and what happens is your creatine then converts into creatine phosphate. The creatine phosphate is stored within the muscles. And then what it does is it converts to ATP. ATP energy, so it gives you more output in the gym. It increases explosive output, it can increase strength, and therefore give you more gains. Wow! As well as increasing your performance within the gym, it also stores in the muscle, like I said. And as it stores in the muscle, it stores in there via water, okay? So what that's gonna do is, Increase the size of your muscles via the water. Now, this is going to be increasing your water weight, but it's not going to be increasing the sub Q water weight, it's going to be increasing the water weight with inside the muscle. So, you won't look watery and bloated because it'll be inside the muscle. Okay, so how you would use it? You would tend to use 10 grams in your loading phase. So, 10 grams in the loading phase. How long is the loading phase? Roughly a week long. Let's keep it basic. 10 grams for seven days. There on after, your creatine source should be very full, absolutely to the brim. And you will have put on that water weight. Now, you will reduce that 10 grams down to five grams per day. For the future, do you have to cycle on and off of creatine? No, because you'll be getting creatine from, like I say, fish, meats, anyhow. It's a natural supplement, your body already produces it. You do not have to cycle off of creatine. If you want to, happy days. But five grams, they're on after loading phase and your creatine source will be filled. What can you expect after that couple of weeks once the creatine source is full? Around one kg of weight will be gained around that time. So who can use creatine and who will benefit from using creatine? Anybody will benefit to in their sports, doing the gym, trying to put on muscle, trying to gain strength, trying to increase your output within sporting, so sprinting, basketball, whatever. Creatine will be beneficial. Of course, the only thing I would say, if you are supplementing with creatine, to ensure that you are drinking enough water because it uses the water to store the creatine phosphate within the muscle. And it will become bigger because it's stored in the muscle. And bigger muscles, more output, you can tear more microfibers within the muscle. So if you are looking to use creatine to increase your muscles, this is how it will work. Increase your output around here, more muscle breakdown, more repair, bigger muscles. Increased output, more repair, so on, so on, so on. And day by day, week by week, you will be getting more gains. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And until next time, let's make some gains. Boom.